Tom Harwood from Guido Fawkes' website. Tom, thank you very much for joining us, the, the political website, of course, Guido Fawkes. Um, OK, what's your reaction to this? Well, this seems like very good news. It's what uh, Brexiteers up and down the country have been hoping for, really. It seems like we've got a Prime Minister who's on our side, who's willing to take on those vested interests in Parliament, that coalition of politicians trying to frustrate the will of the people, and a Prime Minister who's ready to get on with a domestic agenda, which I think is what a lot of people in the country have been crying out for for a very long time. This has been the longest parliamentary session for quite some time. It's almost three years without a new Queen's speech. So being able to have that short prorogation, that new Queen's speech, setting out a new uh, domestic agenda, but also limiting the time for silly games to be played in Parliament, seems like a very sensible thing to do at this stage. There are, of course, some who'd say that this is a game and this is also anti-democratic. A, a, a Prime Minister who was elected by a, a small number of uh, people in the scheme of things, members of the Tory party, doing something that prevents parliamentary scrutiny, anti-democratic. Well, it's hardly anti-democratic. If, if Parliament wants to, it could vote no confidence in the Prime Minister as soon as Parliament returns. Parliament will uh, be sitting uh, for, for many, many days, actually, before that 31st of October deadline, both before and after the prorogation. So there's time for Parliament to scrutinise, time for Parliament to play some games if they want to, but not as much time as before. And crucially, there's, there's now uh, an, an impetus to get on with that domestic agenda, which is what people up and down the country really want to see. The message of the Leave campaign was take back control. When MPs are basically being made to, to sit on their hands for a period of time in the run-up to one of the most crucial moments, of course, in our, in our history, that, that deadline on the 31st of October, is that taking back control? Absolutely. It will enable us to take back control. This prorogation is actually shorter than the prorogation that John Major uh, went into at the end of his term as Prime Minister. Various Prime Ministers throughout our history have done this. This is not a, a new or novel idea. Um, Attlee did it when he was putting forward his new uh, raft of nationalisation reforms. There's plenty of precedent for something like this to be done. And it, it will enable us to take back control, as you rightly say, over our laws, over our money, over our borders, over our trade, be able to take back control over our whole raft of new policies in our domestic and uh, international economy. And that can and make everyone in this country better off uh, down the line. But we first need to get over that Brexit hurdle. And this news today will make it all the more likely that we do. Tom Harwood from the Guido Fawkes website, thank you. Let's talk now to the former deputy leader of uh, the Labour Party, Dame Margaret Beckett.